What's up? Welcome to the DZ Report. You rocking with your boy. DZ Report in full effect. What is y'all doing? Is y'all going this way or that way? Damn, man. So basically, um... go the other way because these people don't end up making me just go off on them man people cannot drive now they got this blocked off really god damn that castle man yeah so cam thomas has been balling out in the summer league he's looked good and, and like i said i thought cam thomas was gonna be put into the rotation a lot more in the playoffs like they didn't play him at all and I don't think he was hurt so he's had two big games had 31 in one game and 26 in the next against the Bucks. and they basically was telling him that his coach Steve Nash is encouraging him to you know play mate get the ball to his other teammates and he just rolled his eyes <laughs> and said it is what it is, you know. And I keep trying to tell y'all, Steve Nash was not the player's decision. See, Stephen Coon Smith and Shannon Guzzler, not so sharp, are trying to tell you something that isn't correct. They're falsifying things. Kevin Durant was like, I didn't choose him. And Kyrie said what he said, we don't really need a coach because he was dissing Steve Nash. He really meant to say, we don't want that coach. I'm telling you, I've been exposing the Brooklyn Nets all day, all week. And everybody's saying this about Kyrie, you go right, he go left. No, Kyrie Irving wants a guaranteed contract. Kyrie Irving, does he get stressed and everything? Yes, he does. But Cam Thomas, don't nobody respect this guy, Steve Nash. Steve Nash is a trash head coach. And I keep telling y'all that, but nobody wants to believe it. They want to say it's all on the players. Cam Thomas rolled his eyes because he's like, man, I don't even really feel this guy. And now, you know, you got two of your superstars bouncing. That's going to give Cam Thomas a lot of play. And Cam could be the future for this um, organization. But this is the thing, man, when you don't have a coach. Nobody respects Steve Nash as a coach. You know, when players are banging your wife and everything, you know, they don't respect you. So you know how it goes, you know how it is. But Cam Thomas basically rolled his eyes at him. Which Cam Thomas don't even respect this dude, man. He don't like this dude. Don't like this dude at all. And, you know, that was just showing you right then and there when he rolled his eyes. Like, this guy here ain't no coach. Because, <laughs> dog, he, you know what I'm saying, he just sat Blake Griffin down. Blake didn't get no burn. <laughs> the guy's rotations were terrible. And yet, y'all want to blame the players. <laughs> the guy didn't even know how to adjust. He got Kevin Durant running the damn facilitating instead of scoring. This is what I was saying. Put Kevin Durant at the point and let Kevin Durant score. Let him dominate. Let him be aggressive. And everybody else will fall in place. 
put your players in position to win. You couldn't even do that. And that's the problem with Steve Nash, that Mike D'Antoni bullshit. Everybody rave about Mike D'Antoni during the season. He got to the playoffs, he flamed out. Because the dude only runs a six or seven man rotation and he plays his stars with heavy minutes. He used to play Steve Nash damn near 46, 47 minutes along with Amari. That's why Amari was getting hurt so much in Phoenix. The guy does, I'm telling you, he does the same damn thing. But hey, it is what it is, right? It's a guy who y'all like and praise. Bum ass Steve Nash. And to Ty, and then to um to Ty, and this goes out to everybody. I don't like Shaq. It has nothing to do with he played with Orlando. The problem I have with Shaq is he gets overrated. He gets overrated. And nobody else gets any credit when they played with Shaq. When Shaq wasn't really the guy who was the force of the team. He wasn't the focal point in getting things done. So you guys got to stop all that crap saying I don't like Shaq because of that. No, Shaq wasn't a very good player. He was a great talent for his size. But he wasn't the greatest player in the world. It's like, come on, stop it. You guys trying to make it out to be he's this greatest player and all this. And it's like, bro, he wasn't. And I'm telling people, dog, I watch Shaq. Like, LB and everybody be trying to tell me about Shaq ass. I'm like, bruh, stop it. <laughs> Shaq was okay, dog. But y'all, Shaq was not dominant like y'all thought he was. If he was so dominant, why did he only win four rings? And then not only that, he won three rings. He won three rings after he was in L.A. for four years. He'd been in the league since 93, but he was dominant. The dude, Michael Jordan, was more dominant than him. Even though Jordan played in a weak Eastern Conference in the 90s, but he was more dominant than Shaq. <laughs> Shaq was just a big-ass bully on the court who couldn't fight for shit. Every time he threw a fist, he missed. Even the damn phone. The phone drop says, stop talking about Shaq. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm gonna talk about him. I'm gonna talk about his big ass. Summer League is, you know, it's been good to watch players, but you really can't gauge anybody. Everybody's trying to say, oh, watch these players, these players. And and I'm like, bro, you really can't gauge these players. <laughs> you know, everybody wants you to choose, like, who's the best. And, you know, I'm just watching what guys do. You know, like their skill set, how they're handling it. I think Ivy's been looking to me the most impressive. Then I got Paolo. Um, Cam Thomas has been nice out there. You know, Cam can score, man. That's the thing about Cam. Cam got no fear in him, and that's what I love. You know, but looking at the Brooklyn Nets also, I don't even know. Like, they haven't been able to find a deal. People have been saying the Nets want too much, and I blame the T-Wolves for doing that dumbass deal to get Rudy Gobert. They traded their whole farm to get him. And then everybody is brainwashed. Even my brother-in-law, he brainwashed. Kevin Durant wants to go to a good team and win. I'm like, yeah, he's 33. 
if he was 23, then yeah, he'll go to a team and try to win from scratch. Oh, Kevin Durant's too old for that shit. In basketball years, he's an old ass man. But nobody was saying shit to LeBron when he was doing everything. Everybody sucked on LeBron till it's okay for LeBron to do what he does, but nobody else can do it. It's a travesty against basketball. Like Dr. J said, LeBron James started this bull here. <laughs> he started this jumping around and stuff. Like, he blamed him. Everybody like, what about KD? Like, dog, KD saw what he did and he did the same thing. So what? Who cares? To me, I really don't give a shit how you build your team. The point is to win. If I have a chance to stack my team up to win, I'm doing it. <laughs> That's the point is to win. You guys are dumb as hell. It's like Isaiah Thomas. Zeke. Shout out to Zeke. The greatest point guard ever. Probably the greatest player ever. He, I'm growing a fan of Zeke every day. <laughs> Shit, Carcino is like, man, he is the best player ever. That's Carcino, boys. I'm like, shit, I'm about to go with Carcino on this. I'm really loving Zeke. I really like Zeke, dog, because Zeke ain't biting his tongue for none of these a-holes. Zeke like, dog, I used to bust all y'all asses, but y'all try to act like I ain't up there? Like, you trying to act like I ain't up there? <laughs> Like Zeke said, that's the point, is to stack your team with as much talent as you want. Because Charles Barkley was like, you want all the talent? And Isaiah was like, well, they're both right in a sense, but Charles got to understand that's how championships are won. You stack your team up the best way you can. You build your team up the best way you can. Like they asked Isaiah Thomas, like if Michael Jordan said he wanted to join you, what would you have done? He said... We would have welcomed him. Like, Zeke not stupid. Zeke know how great Mike was. I know how great Mike is. Like, that's why I tell C. Penn. Shout out to C. Penn. I tell C. Penn the same thing. Like, bro, I didn't like Mike. That's, that's just the difference, but I'm not going to lie. If you got Mike as your greatest of all time, you got an argument. I don't have a problem with you saying that. I just didn't like Mike. That's just me. But he's in my top ten. He's like number eight or nine on my list. I just don't think he was better than Kobe, Hakeem, um, Rodman, Duncan, or AI. I just think those five guys were better than him. I believe Isaiah was better. I believe Magic was better. I believe Bird was better. And then I got Jordan right there. And then I got, um, and then I got, um, Bill Russell. Then I could go, um, Will. Oscar, and then I got um Jerry. Then I got um Elgin Baylor. That's my top 15. So my top 15, I got Kobe, Hakeem, Rodman, um Duncan, Iverson. I got Isaiah. Uh, Magic, Bird, Jordan, Bill Russell. That's my top 10. And then my next five for 15, I got Will, Oscar, Jerry, Elgin, and then, um, Big Game James. I got Big Game James at 15. So that's my top 15. Now you're going to have people come on, get all upset. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> like people think I'm going to lose sleep. Like no. But yeah, shout out to Cam Thomas, man. <laughs> shout out to Cam Thomas for rolling his eyes at that bullshit. 
I need you to facilitate or create. He's a scorer, Nash. <laughs> I don't need him to create for others. He's not a point guard. He's a scorer. That's like telling Iverson, Iverson, I need you to create for everybody. No, Iverson's going to give me buckets. Just like when he went to the Nuggets. You should have got a point guard who could run with them. Because if you had a point guard with AI and Melo on the wings, oh my gosh, it would have been nasty. But George Carl and Denver's always been dumb. They've always had talent, but never knew how to put it together. what it is right but looking at the um summer leagues and stuff man you know you know it's been it's been pretty good you know watching it but people are getting way too hyped over this like dog calm down it's the goddamn summer league you know you guys are just getting way too emotional over a damn summer league game it's like why it's summer league Nobody cares until the real season starts. I forgot my glasses. I could have took my glasses and get fixed. Damn it. Oh, well. I don't want to be out too much. Gas is too high and I ain't trying to drive every damn way. But, I mean, that's just how it is. But Cam Thomas basically rolled his eyes when asked to create for others. It's like, bro, Cam Thomas is a scorer. I need him to score the damn basketball. <laughs> I don't need him to facilitate for others. And now, if he can add that to his repertoire, that's cool. But for right now, you know, he got to do what he got to do. But he rolled his eyes because a lot of those people in the organization are not happy with him or Sean Marks. They didn't like how Steve Nash treated Blake and LaMarcus in them last year. Also, um, people don't like Marks in the organization because he treated Kyrie the way he did. And Kyrie was one of the reasons why Kevin Durant came to Brooklyn. It wasn't because of you, Sean Marks. Last name Marks, cause he a Mark. <laughs> Fits his name perfectly. You is you are a Mark. Like straight up, you are a Mark. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comment section how you feel about everything, man. Thank y'all for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this information if you love what you hear. You guys can donate to the page by going to the description box, hitting that link to the cash app. You can donate whatever your hearts desire. And, um, you know, I'll be on the other page, the Welcome to HDTV, the main page tomorrow. They'll allow me to post again after they tried me for a whole goddamn week on some bullshit. No, go ahead. You already done came out with your bony ass. But chill. You know, so yeah. I holler at y'all, man. Y'all be safe, man. I'm out. Deezy.